Ricky. Yes, mate. Did you have a favourite teacher growing up? Um. Yeah, Mr. Smith. He was pretty sound. What about you? Who was yours? Uh, Mrs. Turtle was my favourite. Funny name, but she taught us well. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? What, <laughs> right, mate? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me once again. Um, I have decided I'm going to start showing some sales as they go along again, like I used to before. Trialing it out, see if I can fit it into a nice segment and keep it clean. I might have to do a couple of days over it, but that's fine. But I've had some pretty nice, I've had a, I've had a nice sale that I want to show off, basically. Uh, Barney looking a bit sus up there. Uh, right, it's another day, it's another week, it's uh, Tuesday at the moment, and uh, I have just had a fantastic sale come through. So, you may have seen on my Instagram, if you haven't checked it out yet, you need to go and check it out, the link is in the description below. I always put things in there first, on there first, before I put them onto YouTube, some of it doesn't even make it onto YouTube. Um, yeah, so I've had a very nice sale yesterday, um, quite a high value one, so of course I want to show it off and document it. Uh, plus some other bits, some other cool bits as well that I want to talk about. So I'm going to run through these and probably add this on to tomorrow's video when I go out and hit a couple of charity shops. So without further ado, as Rummage would say, um, you're really bothering me up there, to be honest. As without further ado, um, he's very off-putting. Let's just turn around and show you what we got. Back to the old school ways when I used to carry the phone around and show you. Remember them days? Um, okay, I mean, for my, in my defence, it is... 8 o'clock, 8 p.m., um, and I'm 33, so I do what I want. Okay, these caps don't need to be there. So, right, this is what's going on today, anyway. I've just, I've just, I've just come back from sending five things to, the, to Hermes. So, yesterday I had some sales where this sold. You remember I paid £6 for it a little while ago from a car boot sale? I, said, I was going to keep it for gaming, but the money was there. Um, I listed it for £60 or £59.99, and it sold. I was like, sweet. And about 30 seconds later, if that, this sold as well. And I was like, someone's trolling me, surely. Um, they're not. Uh, I won't show you the address fully, but I might put a screenshot up here somewhere. They're both going to Pinewood Studios. So I've no idea what's going on at the moment. This doesn't work. I have listed in it. I did put in the title, and I've got a nice little top tip for you, actually, guys and girls, in case you didn't already know. You probably already do, but we like giving out tips here. This doesn't work. In the title, I put blah, 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 prop. Um, film studios, they're always looking for props, always looking for certain things for different projects and stuff. When you watch your um, Stranger Things and it's set in like a really weird back-in-the-day day setting, they don't just pull these things out of nowhere. They have to get them from somewhere, and it's people like us that end up supplying them to them. They don't need to work, but this one doesn't. They're just, they're just going to sit there. They're going to be part of a set. So if you've got things that are broken and vintage, put a prop in the title too because people are looking out for them like perfect example. Um, so these are going to Palmer Studios. This was $29.99 plus postage. This was $59.99 plus postage. And they haven't asked for an invoice. Basically, they've got an unlimited credit card where they can just buy what they want, what they need to. And you'd never get, unless you really mess up, you barely get any issue from like these film companies and prop studios and stuff. So these are very, very nice. I'm happy that they're going out. They owe me what? This, I paid £5 from a car boot for this, knowing for well it'd be broken. And I paid £6 for that. So £11 into £60, £70, £90, nearly £100. Very happy indeed. Um, so I'll get these packed off. I'll get these, Once I finish this video today, I'll get these packed up and they can go off tomorrow. Right, on to the next one. The big boy, the big bad boy. Right, well, that's annoying. I've just had to find a new tripod because I've just bust mine up. Um, yeet. So, 
the big sale. Um, these are, you might remember these, to be honest. My dress is on there, not that I'm as. You might remember these. I've had these on display a few times. These are the 1999 Japanese poker playing cards. They're fantastic. Um, they cost a hell of a lot of money and they're only going up in value too. So I have made money on them, um, which I expected to, obviously. And they're going to a fantastic place who will, I believe, they're going to open the deck, split them down, grade off the high end and sell off the others. They already have a platform. Um, I'm going to give them the shout out. So I'll put their link up in the top here. So a big shout out to you, uh, Cardnet UK, white name names. That's the business. That's the business name that's bought them. And these sold for £400. So I did have these listed on eBay. Um, they sent me an offer. I realised the shop was a business address. Uh, so it might have Instagram or YouTube or something. Had a little look. I found him on Instagram. Turns out he actually follows my Instagram account. Uh, whether they follow my YouTube or not, I'm not too sure. But uh, I'll link him to the video. So again, thank you very much, dude. I really appreciate your business. Uh, you saved me some fees and you've saved some money on the original offer as well. Um, like everybody knows, I'm always happy to do subscriber discounts or follower discounts, whatever. Um, speak to me, let me know. But yeah, this is a lovely sale. I am quite sad to see it go. It's... They're, they are appreciating in value all the time. I have one left. I won't be selling that. I'll be keeping hold of that until, I don't know, a, a very, very long time. But I'm going to get this packed up now. I'm going to show you how I'm going to pack this up. It is just a deck of cards, but it still deserves the utmost respect. So let me get into that now. Right, so I already have the deck in a plastic sleeve, just to keep it uh, pristine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, and what I don't want to do is mess with this too much either. Um, I am, I'm assuming he's going to break it open, but I still don't want him to have a wrecked, a wrecked um, packet. Do you know what I mean? I want the box to stay nice. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go for a little bit of bubble wrap. We are going to, one layer on the top. But then what I want to do to try and keep this rigidity here is take some i'll say scrap cardboard but um off cut cardboard take a piece around about the size of the card deck just cut it to size what i want this to do is hover over the back of the lip where the hanger is bring it up there we go see how that fits perfectly that will then create some rigidity on that hanger and maintain the integrity of the box. Now remember, the chap has paid £400 for this. I'm not just going to sling it in a bubble mailer. Let's fold it again. Coming to the end of this. Uh, annoyingly, I don't have my clear tape on a roll, so it is going to be brown tape. Not the most prettiest, but we've had a chat. He knows me. He uh, uh, knows me enough to know that. I'm not just slinging it in. Not he knows me, but he follows my account is what I mean. Christ, spit it out, Ricky. There we go. So that's on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold one side over, which has created thickness on the back. Some thickness on the front. So now we've got this nice little S-shaped sandwich and just keep rolling until it's done. Now that will keep them. And then I'm going to put the tape on as well, of course. But in order to make sure I don't bend it across loosely, there we go. Now that you can see, it's still perfectly straight. Everything's in there, then nicely. Now, 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 I need to find a box uh, good enough to send this off in. So bear with me a second. I found one. It's not the prettiest. It's also not the worst either. Um, but I've chose this one for a reason. See, this has thick walls on it. It's nice and thick. It's not just a flimsy um, shoe box. It's really quite, quite solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack this out. Then we're going to start to fill the box with void fill and other stuff. 
I'm going to start with newspaper. Just to pad the bottom out normally in a shoebox. Three will do. So I'm going to do three. Then we're going to fold one over. And that's going to create a nice that's going to create a nice bed. Then we're going to go straight in with the cards. So the cards will sit in there nicely, leaving plenty of room around the edges. And I'm just going to fill that void too. Then we're going to take the other scrap of card that we had, just fold it across, place it on the top like so. What it's going to do then, it's going to spring everything back up, watch. So that bit of card there is going to create the tension in the box. And the box is very thick anyway. Then we're going to give it a, there's no movement in there whatsoever. So we're just going to tape it up, pop it into our mailing bag and get it on the way to the customer. I'm really looking forward to seeing what, um, what he pulls out. Ah, I forgot, I was going to give him something. Hold on. Need to pop this in there too, then I one second. I messed up. I messed up. I had prepared him something as a thank you. A little a little extra. I mean it's not mint, but it is free. Uh, I'm gonna pop in a free base set to Pikachu. He's probably already got one, but it's just oh just a little thank you. So we'll get a post-it note. Um, thank you, Rick. Oh, I almost put a kiss then. <laughs> so then we'll just go and get a little semi rigid, semi rigid. Uh, pull tab on the back of Pikachu, back of the card, so you can get it out. Put the mailer gently, pop him in there. There we go. Pop him underneath this. Yeah, pop him underneath there, and continue sealing the box. When he sees all the extra tape on here, he'll know what's happened. Okay, then we take a nice big mailer, one that fits shoe boxes, pop it in, and there we go. Now that might seem like a lot of packing, a bit excessive for a pack of Pokemon cards, but they're over 20 years old and they cost a lot of money. So, of course, they could fit into a bubble mailer, but that's going to do nothing for protection. I want him to receive them the same way that I send them out, perfectly. So, again, Cardsnet UK, go and give them a follow. I appreciate your business. Thank you very much. I'll get this out to you tomorrow. So, Wednesday. I know it's been a little bit of a while. It's been like a day. I was supposed to post it today, but things got a bit busy of me. I do apologise, mate. Um, let me just make it a little bit tighter. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'll get this out to you tomorrow. I've just finished getting that looking nice and sweet. So that is that's structurally sound now. It's going to be a small parcel, nice and light, so under a kilo. Royal Mail, this will go special next day delivery. So I'll get it there nice and early in the morning. Mother-in-law gets here for around about nine o'clock. So I'll get this to the post office for probably half nine-ish. Um, so yeah. I'm going to go and finish the rest of my drink now. Where actually is it? I'm going to go and finish the rest of this now. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. So I'll just tack this onto the video. See you tomorrow. There we go, there we go. Morning campers, another bright and beautiful day. Uh, I am obviously tacking this on from yesterday's little uh, packing video. Let me turn this down. Yeah, yeah, blah. No news is good news in my opinion. 
So, I'm gonna go charity shopping today. I've got a few things I wanna go and get that I'm hoping are still there. If not, no big deal. I'm sure I'll find some more stuff. So, I'll see you after these few clips. Right, we're at the post office. Gonna get your parcel sent off, mate. Let's get it done. Wait, so because I'm so used to doing Hermes, he thinks I'm a clown. Um, I didn't put a label on. There's no, there's no address label on. Of course not. Uh, so now I've got to try and find some way of putting a dress label on there. If not, I have to buy a label from in there. I'll print something. BRB. Right, oh, okay. <laughs> in, in the post office, creating labels. Success. What start to the day? <laughs> oh, there's a charity shop literally just there. So, I'm going to go check that out. I leave water for the doggies. Morning all. When you're on the road, chazzing. Me or not, all right? You get the drift. You have to have a Red Bull. You have to have a sausage roll. Me, that's cold. And you have to have a steak bake. That's the minimum. Soon you'll be blinking into a camera and it'll take you it'll take your payment. Well that was unexpected. Those Versace were actually a pound, not three pounds. They were six pound. I'll talk more about it another time. But somebody with a keen eye might know that I picked might have noticed I picked up that glass pot that I left last week. I got schooled last night on something that I left at a car boot sale. I thought when it was flaking through like that, it was coloured glass, like it was probably not good. But Sean made a point of saying it's probably more expensive to colour the glass than it is to make it like that. So I'm gonna take it and do some research on it. And it was half price again. So my lack of knowledge has saved me a few quid. Cheers. Right, we're here at my favourite shop. So I'm not gonna mess around. Let's go and see what we can find. Well, that's mine. That's probably mine. Custom Air Force ones, not very nice. I've seen them before. Let's go and get them. Afternoon, all. I'm great, how are you? Good, good.
So the Ed Hardy was very fake. But I did get some cool bits out of there. Hopefully I don't break them because I keep buying more and more ceramic glassy breakable stuff, which is frustrating really, but it sells well. So on to the next. Oh my God, it's hot in here. I have a 28 year old grandson. You'd be surprised what he's had. I'm 33 and I've probably got worse than this. Well, I'm nearly 73 and I've still got the present. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you ever so much. I appreciate that. Well, you know plans this summer are absolutely ruined, so I'm never going to get a chance to wear this because there's nowhere to go. So we're clashing, but we don't care. We've got to don it for the rest of the trip. Right, I'm on to the next one. Looks very full in there, so let's go see what we can find. Hello, how are you? Are you keeping well? Saturday. Saturday? Oh, I didn't come in, did I? How dare I? I'll make up for it today. Yes, see, I just picked it up today. Franklin Mint, guarantee it. Nothing out of there. Um, when I say nothing, I've got a nice big thick winter jumper. Because, you know, winter. On to the next. Hello. Great success. Um, some nice bits out of there, to be honest. Well, obviously, we'll show you when we get back. I'm probably going to go back now. Uh, go to my local shop and then go home. I'll show you what I've got. Yeah. Been here so long. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on, dude. Doing a good job, though. Doing a good job. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. But let me through, please. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. Right, we are back in the garage and we have stuff. We have stuff. So I'm going to sit you down and go through and show you what we got. Right, uh, let me get some light in here because it's a bit, I look a bit pale. Not pale, but yeah, probably pale. Better. So. Got a few bits, not quality, no, sorry, not quantity, but quality. Move that out of the way, in fact. Football's on, um, so I've got some Budweiser. Not because of our football, because Budweiser is even cheaper when the football's on. So, cheers, lads. Um, what shall I start with? Let's get these out of the way, because they're hanging up. We've got two Vord ponchos. I bought these because Vord is a great name, especially when things are, they make great tents, some, some high selling tents. 
These are ponchos, so they're sleeveless. Uh, I thought they was women's and men's, but they're not. They're children's or small women. They're not going to fit a blow. I've just tried it on. They don't fit. Um, paid £3.75 each. My money, my money is safe, but they're not going to sell as fast as I wanted them to. It's my fault. It's my bad. But I'm happy with it anyway. So, Vord, good little mate to look out for. Um, High-end bit of clothing, actually, now. Uh, second high-end bit of clothing. I'll show you the others after. This is by Dale of Norway. It's very, very heavy. It's got metal clasps holding it together. See the reindeer on there? It's quality, quality made. Um, I paid £4 for that, I think. I'm going to be pushing for upwards of £100. Um, I'll probably start off at £100. Get off. Probably start off at £100. And maybe take offers. I might take. I might ask for more, depending which model it is. I need to do some proper research on it. But for four pound, I was buzzing when I saw that. So Dale of Norway. Okay, keep that one in your mind. Keep that one in your bolo list. It's on. Um, some Oakley shorts, just because they're Oakley and they're quite cool. They got some design. I don't normally pick up the plain Oakley stuff. Oakley sells, but it's kind of like a slow mover depending on what it is if it's glasses obviously the glasses get snapped up um three pounds fifty uh, i think there's come to be 15 maybe 20 in these depending on what model they are again need to check sometimes the average selling thing can sell for above average because of a certain model production line pattern design size so i'm not going to write them off completely but for three pound fifty i was never going to leave them behind uh, last bit of clothing, well, not the last bit, but so these are these were six pounds. No, these are supposed to be six. Let me start the story. So these are Versace collection. Um, sorry, these are Versace classics. Um, they are real, they're like a light woven pant. Um, they wanted six pounds for these a little while, probably about a month or so ago. Uh, I wasn't going to pay six pounds for them. They ended up in the reduced section today, which I thought was half price, but. Upon checkout, it was actually everything for a pound. So these actually only cost me one pound. One pound for Versace Collect Versace Classics. Uh, you can't go wrong. They're a size 36 waist, I think. So they're far too big for me. But being actually probably not, to be fair. I was a 32 before lockdown, 34 during lockdown. Probably 36 now. I'll try them on. But a pound for Versace Versace. Not going wrong, are you? Uh, picked up a printer cable by Belkin for my printer because it's Belkin. It's cool. Mine one's raggedy. Mine was for something completely different, but it worked. Um, this is Belkin. Belkin's cracking. Uh, one, £2.75 half price. I had to pick it up. Some marbles, some vintage in there. The reason why I picked them up is because of that little cloudy earth looking one in there. And that little one just... I'll go through them, but they're solid, they're solid ones. Marbles can be worth good good money uh, i can't see any of the you know mega 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 value ones in here no they're all pretty standard but 30 pence for a bag of marbles i was going to go for it watch everybody start picking up marbles now too the amount of people in the community picking up paperweights is unreal i might start trolling you all soon and pick up something really weird and see how many of you start <laughs> picking it up that's not bitter either i hope you do really well from it it's just fun to know that i mean officially an influencer now do you know what i mean i've influenced you to go and buy paperweights so uh I don't know, paperweight company, sponsor me. Boring. Um, a look at the dots and see what you can see things. So you've got to stare at this 30 seconds and then put your head back and blink. Do you want to do it? We've got 30 seconds, let's try. I'll do it for less than that. Right on, go. Let me do it with my face, there we go. In fact, you can pause the video here, stare at it for 30 seconds and then tilt your head back and blink and see what you can see. So I'm not going to do it for 30 seconds. Um, pay 30 p as you can see. It's a cork-backed coaster type thing. There's no name on it, no maker's name. But I know that this artist was by a guy called Aaron Young. Uh, some of his work, this work, in fact, the painting of this, I believe, sold for £20,000. So I couldn't leave it behind, could I? I had to pick it up. I have no idea what it's worth. It could be worth £5. could be worth five pence. could be worth 500 I doubt it. But it's on tile, cork-backed. It could just be generic, like everybody. Like it could be like it's like printing the Mona Lisa onto a bit of tile now. Do you know what I mean? But I like it. I might keep it for a while. Aaron, um, Norwegian 
computer. If you look closely, you can see the scenes of the Vikings uh, heading into the lands that they are going to pillage and pilfer from, make their own. Um, Norwegian pewter, you can't go wrong with it. This is by Vestin. 50p paid, no idea what it's worth, um, but it's going to be worth more than my 50 pence, that's for sure. What else do we have? Got one of these, paid £5 for it. This is the Flexi Back Original. Uh, Pit one is up maybe eight months ago now. Sold it for 35 So I know there's good money in these. This one cost me £5. Um, I'm going to aim for 35 again, but this one looks like it's a different... Um, same model, but it looks a bit newer than the last one I had. A lot, lot, lot newer uh, writing. So I might push a little bit higher on it. I'm not too sure yet. But I'm at least getting more than £5. I'm, I'm at least getting 35 out of this. So flexi back another one to look out for. You don't see them few and far between. They are kind of like those as seen on TV products. Uh, but I believe this one does have a doctor behind it that sort of endorsed it and pushed it through. They are really good, actually. When I was barbering, um was when I first found one. And I tried it out. It's cracking. So, cracking, back cracking. What else did I get? What's behind here? Oh, nice little vintage mustard jar. Uh, I've actually sold a tall vinegar one of these before for £30. Um, it's got a little bit of nick in it, but it doesn't matter too much. It's got a nice printed on there. Now, a lot of these were remade again. I think this is original simply by the base. So, Sean, thank you very much. I appreciate you, my friend. Um, I haven't spoken to Sean, but he's put some posts up. Sean's knowledgeable of this sort of stuff, man. And the finish just looks rustic. It looks like one of those things that you just can't get away from. So, 30 pence paid. Probably not too much of this one. It's not a big one. Um, maybe 10, 15. It's just uh, bread and butter stuff. For 30 pence, it's basically free, isn't it? You know, anything for like 30p, 50p, 20p. To me, that's it's, if it's worth 10, 15 quid, I'll buy it. Normally, I wouldn't for a pound, two pound, but it's free, Leonard, let's face it. Uh, dodgeball cost me £1.75 half price basically put it on your chest throw the ball, got a dodge so me and George will test it out later to make sure it's okay um, Are you meant to be oh. making each other? I have three children It'll sell, definitely sell probably get about six, seven pounds for it maybe more but um it's going to be fun testing it, isn't it? Picked up this plate um, by a company Typo. Only trust people who love pizza. Uh, cost me £2.75. It's a very cool plate. It's a very, very, very cool plate. Hoping there's some resale value in it. If not, need a new plate. Emma, Soz. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Uh, I was gifted this. Um, she said I can have this when I was in the charity shop. I said that's fine. I'll donate you fifty pence. But she walked up to me and went, "Do you want, do you want this? Do you want something?" It's a thousand tattoos. It's not worth it. Probably worth about a tenner. But I won't sell this. I will keep it because it's quite a cool book. It looked wicked on a shelf, and there might be some tattoo ideas in here. I really like the idea of the vintage stuff. I mean, look, don't get too. So hopefully, hopefully, I don't see like a, 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 a boob or something, but. You know, there's some cool stuff in here. It's going to give you some history. Yeah, I like it. Um, it was free. It's worth about 10, 15 quid. Maximum 10, I'd say, not 15. I'm not going to sell it, though. Uh, picked up these. These are quite cool. Paid £2 for this. It's 1997. This is the Cyclops from um, Hercules. I think he's got a little bit of a knackedness. Something going on there. But it's Disney, 997. I don't know what he's worth. Um, I'll pay £2 for him, along with... I'll, show you, I'll keep him out for the size difference. My second favourite thing of the day, uh, Hercules. He's also from 1997. He, If he's new and boxed, or at least in the box, he sells for over £100. So another one to look out for. But you'll be hard to find this one for sure. Twitch is obviously everyone knows about now. You're all going to start finding Hercules now. What's so special about this one? Well, he does what I used to be able to do before lockdown, when I actually had bod. Okay. <laughs> he's wicked, isn't he? I mean, he's absolutely grubby. He's got a lot of greasy, grimy kind of 
not too sure what it is in there whether it's like oil or grease that's dried up but paid four pounds fifty for him i don't even think they knew what they had they're just you know just a big figure isn't he so i'm scared that it's going to break a lot i think one of these things has broken actually just there so i will super glue that it's only a small little break but i'll super glue that and mention it but it does still hold together it's only to break off but yeah a little bit of a bolo there look him up type in 1997 Ah, oh, what was the word? Can't remember. But type in 1997 Hercules Pop, Top Pop, or something like that. You'll find it. Um, all oh, his shin pads come off as well. So I wonder if they lose shin. I wonder if he loses his pads after a while, and having them is desirable too. You handsome man. I can't bother with you. Right, next up is this must see musicals DVD collection. There is 15 in there. You've got 42 Street, April in Paris, Singing in the Rain, Calamity Jane, Gypsy, High Society. Do you know what I mean? You, you, all the ones you think of. £8.95 paid. Um, at least £30 back on this, but I am going to aim for 50 because I am an absolute scumbag and that is just what I what I do. And I'll probably get somewhere close to that, maybe 40 Um And last but not least, bear with. Last but not least is what I'm wearing. Look at it. Is it beautiful? Look at the burning pineapple. I'll let you take a good gander at the pattern. Um, I'll put this on as soon as I got it. In fact, it's still got the price tag in. It's lovely. Nice little short sleeve shirt. Look at the look at the design. Can you see what that says there? That was me hitting the uh of course it's not gonna do it again. That was me, my foot scraped because of the wood, alright? It's a nice shirt, it's a cool shirt. Um it's lovely. It was two pounds and fifty pence. No, two pounds seventy-five maybe. Two pounds and seventy-five p. Uh, it's by a company. You might have seen me sell one of these before. I sold the beer tree one. I think it was the beer tree one I sold. Uh, it's a mambo loud shirt. Now I went off the rocker when I saw this man. I was like, Ugh. it was in the ladies section. The ladies. I even said to her at the counter, I love it when you mess up and put things in the ladies section at men's because it means I get to get them. Because I would always look in the ladies section. That's where I got those two ponchos from and the jumper and this. In different shops, always look in the ladies. It's in fantastic condition. I see no marks, no holes, no nothing. Um, this, I believe, after doing a bit of research, is one of the more rarer designs. Uh, let me bring you back here. One of the more rarer designs. So... I'm going to be aiming for £200, shall we? There's one, the only one I could find is on Grailed for $180. So there's nothing on eBay at the minute. There's no soles, no listeds. Let me just try and get a decent pattern pattern shot. There we go. Uh, I am going to wear the hell out of it until it sells. I'm even going to list it and wear it. I'm, I'm that risky because I love it. But I've got no plans to do anything decent this summer. I don't think any of us have really. If I had a holiday, I wouldn't list it, but I don't. £2.75, I'm going to aim for about 200 quid and accept offers near there. Maybe, I might have to go more, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out, but let's say, let's be reserved. I'm at least going to get £150 back for that, at least. So what a blinding, blinding day today. I didn't have to go carrying tons and tons of bags either. Because there's not really much here, to be fair, looking at it. Lads, lads, lads. So, a roundup. Oh, we also brought some Pokemon tin. A Pokemon tin. Uh, we've got the Tyranitar tin. Tyranitar V in there. Nothing really out of all the packs apart from Set the Scorch V Max. And I'll get here. Victini V Max. The Victini V Max will pay for the tin, give or take. Sorry to barge in there. I forgot to add something onto what I bought. You'd have seen it on the video. Picked up this lovely little trinket jar top thing with lid. I left it a long time ago. I've left it a few times now. Um, oh, I've just it's got it's got a divot out of there for like a spoon. So it's probably some sort of preserve jar. Um, I left it because of, I can see like flaking on the glass and. I took that as it's not going to be uranium glass. That's what I want. 
I had since done a video with some more uranium glass that I saw flaking and left them. Was like I put a title up saying I left it because I think it's coloured glass. Uh, Sean, the main man, he told me you probably messed up there. It probably is uranium glass. It's going to be a lot cheaper to make the glass in the green than it is to coat it, which then made sense. So. I saw this, which was also one offer, um, half price, £1.75 originally. So I picked it up. Uh, I will test out, I've got my UV lamp up there. I will test it out later when it's dark, dark, because there's too much light in here. And add a picture here somewhere, if it is. If not, I'll add a sad face. Continue with the video. Is it everything? Plate, stuff, stuff. So what do we spend? Uh, 375 plus 375, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 26, 27, 28, 30, about 55 quid on stuff and about 19 on Pokemon. 70 quid to return 150, 70, to return a lot of money. A lot of money for turnover anyway. Um, there's going to be fees and stuff of that, obviously. So, yeah. Well, I think that's it. I'm going to get this stuff processed and um, get it sorted out. It's really hot in this garage. I'm going to go get another beer. I'll put some in the freezer. So that's going to be me done. If I've missed anything, I'm not too sure. Again, thank you, mate, for buying them Pokemon cards in the UK. I appreciate it. Don't forget to comment down below what your favourite find was today. Um, I'm interested if you've seen anything that I should have picked up as well. I love when people call me out. You should have seen this. You should have picked that up. Yes, all right. I can't know everything. I'm trying. I'm trying. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. I do appreciate it. You are all fantastic. Most of you are fantastic. The majority of you are great. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.